Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 11th, okay? So keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you, so this reading may or may not be for you. I just cut the deck to the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Cups reversed. So the Knight of Wands is a fierce individual. This is somebody who is making an approach. They, um, this is somebody that has no fear, that is taking action, act now, think later mentality. I gotta do this, I'm gonna do it right now. Clear choice has been made. So somebody has made a decision, okay? They've made, their, they've made up their mind, they've come out of con confusion, they're doing something. You know, I know what I want, I'm going for it. This is exciting. So this is an exciting opportunity, the Knight of Wands. This is, this is like full of passion, okay? A passionate decision has been made. doing something fast no more confusion clear made a clear choice mm. seven of wands now the seven of wands is uh, taking a position being in position not going to give up fighting for it so somebody's gonna be fighting for something oh this just fell off Ten of Wands. So Ten of Wands is somebody, this is somebody that has achieved success. This is a hard worker. Somebody that has been working hard on their success, has had little time for anything but work, uh, has a lot of demands, busy, 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 busy. So we have somebody here that has been very, very busy, um, carrying a heavy baggage, carrying heavy burden. But it feels like this person has almost reached their destination. They're almost there. This tens are completions, so it's about time. It's about time to uh, relax. Somebody needs to relax, so they want to relax, so they want to get rid of this load, you know. Um, I mean, he's carrying a heavy load. This is releasing the load. They, they're about to release their load. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. That is fighting for something. Being caught off guard. Somebody is going to be caught off guard. There's a lot of growth. There's opportunity for growth here. Things are blossoming. So something is blossoming. I see a lot of blossoms here. Somebody's going to be building something. I feel like they're going to be building. I don't know. Maybe they're building a new foundation. I don't know. Maybe this is a builder, somebody that builds things. I don't know where that's coming from. Uh, Seven of Wands, tough position, getting ready to fight. This is a this is a warrior. This is a fighter. Somebody doesn't give up easily. So somebody, ooh, Ace of Cups on the bottom. So this is about love. It's about feelings, expression of feelings, new start in love, things getting better. So there's something to do with love and feelings, flood of emotion, expressing them, expressing those feelings. New start in love. High Priestess reversed. Now, the high priestess reverse is lack of awareness. You may have somebody here that has been single, that has been choosing to be single, that doesn't want to give up their independence. Um, the high priestess reverse is a secret also being revealed. So I wonder if somebody is revealing a secret. You know, they're keeping it to themselves. Somebody's going to be caught off guard, completely unaware, completely unaware. Somebody is coming. Somebody is coming. You are completely unaware. They're close. I don't know what they're bringing, but they're bringing something. Ah, oh, maybe this is what you wished for, what you asked for. This is unexpected help arriving after the tower has fallen. It's unexpected help, okay? It's wish fulfillment. It's a wish granted. 
So somebody's wish is being granted. This is a uh, unexpected help arriving. So there's unexpected help arriving. Whoever this, whoever it is that's coming, has got something. Bags, you know, it's like baggage. It's bags. Ooh, four of wands and four of wands about commitment, celebration, happiness, reunions, a get together, getting together, celebrating, having fun, may have to do with a home, may have to do with a foundation. There could be a change in a living situation. Um, this could be celebrating, you know, it could be a wedding, a marriage, an engagement. Um, whatever it is, there's happiness, contentment, commitment, You are unaware. Somebody is unaware. There's gonna be, there's gonna be a get together. There's an upcoming get together. You don't see it coming. Ooh, chariots. It could be moving. There could be moving. Could be somebody that's taking a journey. They're packing up all their stuff and they're going somewhere. This could be literally packing up and moving home. It's traveling, or it could be traveling. It could just be traveling. Traveling to a get together, traveling afar, traveling. There could be somebody that's coming from a distance. It could be just somebody that's moving. Um, this is getting in the driver's seat, taking the, taking the wheel. It's like taking charge, finding the discipline and the willpower and the determination to take charge. So we have somebody here that has been held down. They've been uh, overwhelmed. They've been um, trying hard. They've been working on their success. But now it's time to relax. Now it's time to have fun. Now it's time to um, get together and have fun, I believe. Or get together. Um, Seven of Wands, that is opposition. That's getting caught off guard. We got somebody here that's about ready to be challenged. You are unaware. Unaware. There's going to be movement. This is, this is definitely movement. And the nine of, uh, nine, knight of wands is movement as well. It's fast forward movement. Totally unaware that this is coming. We have a successful individual that is very, very close. This is, has something to do with uh, commitment. Chariot. Facing opposition. We have facing opposition twice. Warding off the competition. No fear. This is in a hurry. This is somebody that is, this is definitely a warrior. This is somebody that is extremely strong, that is in a hurry, a big hurry. They're going somewhere. A secret is about to be revealed. It's going to catch you off guard. It has to do with, I don't know, a commitment? <coughs> Moon reversed. Now that is truth being revealed as well. It's coming out of illusion. Okay, somebody has been in a state of illusion. There's been some self-deception. This is a release of fear. Okay, there's been some sort of imbalance, maybe a mental imbalance. There's definitely a lack of intuition here as well. With the moon reverse and the high priestess reverse, we have somebody here who hasn't been listening to their intuition or they don't even know what it is you know what i mean this is somebody that isn't very intuitive or they haven't been they've been ignoring their intuition um or they've been extremely scared scared to let go of what they had um but i feel like there's about to be i don't know if there's opposition or there's some sort of challenge where this person is challenged you know and and maybe there's a fight or an argument that you know sends them packing because I see the baggage or the bags and then I see moving which sends them packing maybe there's a change in living situation or a change in the home front 
somebody's traveling or they're moving, you know, or they're packing up their stuff, they're getting ready to move, or they're getting ready to leave. Um, there's definitely going to be some opposition. There is. The moon reversed and next to the high priest is reversed is something's being revealed. Something that was hidden is being revealed. We have a fresh start here. We have starting over from scratch. Okay, so we have somebody here that is about to step into unknown territory. It's doing something on a whim. Right? This is a new phase that is starting, a new journey that is starting. So we do have a new beginning here. Somebody is headed in a new direction, absolutely. This is like stepping into new territory, definitely. It's like going somewhere on a whim, uh, taking a risk, taking a probably a very big risk, letting go of fear. Like this is totally replacing that fear with faith with the Fool card and the Chariot and the Knight of Wands. This is taking action right now. So somebody is going someplace right now. It's like there's no stopping them. Their mind is made up. They made their choice. They see very clearly what the best option is with the Seven of Cups. This is like uh, just doing it. This is just doing it. This is stepping forward with blind faith. This is also spur of the moment. It is spur of the moment. It's a spur of the moment decision. So somebody is making a spur of the moment decision to go someplace that uh, it's well, it has to do with what their heart wants because we had that Ace of Cups. Their heart, their intuition is now guiding them because Ace of Cups is heart and intuition. But there's been denial, there's been ignorance or <laughs> ignorance, ignoring the gut, ignoring the intuition, and there's been a lot of fear. Some it's almost like but somebody has been you know, um, working so hard that they've been ignoring what they really wanted. You know what I mean? They weren't seeing, they weren't, they were confused or they were exploring other options maybe, you know, because they just didn't, they had so much going on their plate that they weren't seeing, you know, they weren't seeing or they were just ignoring, they were just ignoring something. But there is going to be a new commitment here with the four of, four of wands. This is a commitment. This is um, getting together. It's having fun. So, um, going somewhere, traveling in a new direction, dealing with any opposition to somebody's will ready. It's like they're ready. They're, they're, they are. And it's very sudden because of, because of the, the fool and the, uh, knight of wands. This is like sudden desire. It's like, I gotta go. It's time for me to go. I'm going, I'm going, I'm not letting fear hold me back. Oh, page of cups reverse. Somebody's been ignoring what their heart wants. They've been in an unrequited love situation or a loveless situation or something like that. They've had their heart set on somebody that is literally unavailable. There hasn't been any fun. There's a need to have fun. There's a need to be playful. There's a need to... Um, get together, get together with somebody and have fun, you know, relax, have some fun, whatever that means. Um, reality check. There's also a reality check. Somebody's about to get a reality check. There's been some secrets, there's been lies, and they're about to be put on the spot, okay? Something is about to be revealed. They're about to be put on the spot. That may be what sends them packing. Somebody's traveling. They're going somewhere. And I feel like they're bringing stuff with them. A lot of stuff. Could be dealing with Pisces. Cancer. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here as well. This is put on the spot. This is put on the spot. There's going to be a fight or an argument or something. And I feel like this is like, uh, this is this is the straw that breaks the camel's back. That's the way I feel. I feel like it's like, you know what, I can't, 
it's over because that 10 is a completion i can't do this anymore so i'm taking my somebody's taking their stuff and maybe they're being forced to i don't know caught off guard mm. knight of swords now this is gotta do it you must go i must go you must go so somebody may be saying, you gotta go, you gotta, and this is something happening extremely, extremely, extremely fast. So something is about to change fast. This is, this is action that is being taken. This is a sudden arrival or a sudden departure. This is assertive communication. Somebody is asserting themselves. They're being very direct. They may even be put under attack. Somebody may be, and that is the same with the seven of wands. Somebody may be attacking somebody, you know, verbally. You know, putting attacking them for some some reason. It could be a verbal attack. Um, this could be war. You know what I mean? This is somebody that be ready to fight. There's, I feel like there's going to be a battle. There's going to be a fight. I do with the Seven of Wands and then, and then the Knight of Swords. We have somebody here that has been keeping something to themselves. They are about to reveal what they know. And I feel like it's going to change the foundation. It's going to change. It probably going to change the living circumstances. We have an individual that um, has been collecting their data as well. And it feels like they have everything they need. Things happen fast. Really, 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 really fast. Somebody is going to be look. It's almost like they're looking for a fight. They are. They're looking for a fight. It's, it's like this person is just, you know, they're working, they're doing their thing, and then this person comes in looking for a fight. It's like they got some sort of information, and they start to pick a fight, and it... It's almost like it's the... It feels like it's the straw that breaks the camel's back. Somebody from somebody else, we have somebody here that's about to be caught off guard by an approach, okay? This is somebody that is coming in. They, it seems like they're coming out of nowhere. This person um, is on a mission. They know what they want. They're coming with some information or they're coming with some truth. They're going to be very direct. They're very honest. This is, a, this is somebody that is very, very protective that... Um, is trying to something about the competition you know so i'm not sure if they're trying to ward off the competition or what but this is somebody that uh is the boss you know i'm the boss i'm the leader i'm gonna be the leader i'm gonna this is like i'm the i'm the boss i'm the one that's in control here so i don't know what that means um News is coming. You're going to be caught off guard. You're definitely, 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 definitely going to be caught off guard. Um, somebody is going to be doing something uh, risky. We saw that with the fool. This is risky business. They're going to be doing something spur of the moment. Their mind is definitely made up. It is definitely made up. It's like, and maybe somebody forces them because I do see a fight. There is a fight. There's some sort of being caught off guard. There's stiff competition. Something that has been hidden is about to be revealed. There's secrets. I feel like somebody's been keeping secrets. The truth comes out or they've been gathering their information. And it's like it's an explosion of information and it causes a massive disruption. And I don't even have the tower card. But I just feel like that's what it is. Now we have the hangman on the bottom. This is sacrifice, right? As a struggling, struggling. Somebody has been struggling to let go. They've been thinking, thinking a lot. Um, isolating themselves. Sacrificing, sacrificing themselves for a situation. Needlessly. And I feel like they're coming to some sort of realization that they don't need to... Something happens which causes them to realize, why am I sacrificing myself for this? It's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to let this go. It's just weighing me down. It's weighing me down. There's secrets. There's lies. There's illusion. Finding the discipline and the willpower to face opposition, 
to face a challenge. Somebody is going to be challenged, and I think it's going to cause the challenge is going to cause a departure. It is. It is. And it could, that departure could lead to an arrival for somebody else. It may, you know, a change in living situation. There is. There's a living. This is like movement. It is serious movement. Somebody has been lying. They have. They have. They've been lying quite a bit. Lying about their happiness. Holding on for who knows what reason. Mm. Letting it go. Letting it go. Letting something go that they've been holding on to. Ooh. It's a partnership. It's a union. I feel like this union has been on thin ice for quite some time. There's been neglect, there's been an abandonment, it's been, go it's been sinking for a while. It's been cold, it's gone cold for a while. So I do feel like we have a separation here, we have a breakup, we do, it's, I do, that's what I got. We do have a separation, somebody's going in a new direction, they're going fast, they are. It's because, it's because it's not, I mean, underneath that two of cups reverse is the page of cups reverse. That's not love, okay, it's not. And there I can see some serious secrets here. And this person has been keep, it's like they've known and they've been in denial and they've been, just been hanging on for who knows what reasons. They know that there's been secrets, but there's been a denial of the secrets. It's like if they reach a point where this is too much to carry, I can't do this anymore. They just want peace, you know, they want, they want peace, they want happiness, they want commitment, they want something uh, more. It feels like, anyway, I feel like there's going to be emotions, there's going to be emotions, I feel like there's going to be tears, and I feel like there's going to be a separation, being honest with you. I feel like somebody's going to be leaving, and I think that they're going to be leaving fast, really, 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 really fast. I think there's been some financial burdens and some financial hardship as well, maybe even fighting over money. Maybe somebody's only been holding on for the money. You know, they've worked hard to achieve the success that they have, but they're not getting very much, and it feels like they're not getting a whole lot of help, and it's been, it's been a big struggle. And, and letting go to have more, that's it's hard. It's hard because you never, there's fear of the unknown here. There is. There's fear. What if, what, if, what if I let this go and I don't get anything else? What if I'm on my own and I struggle? Then you'll find a way. You will find a way. You will. It's either flight or fight. Okay? And this is fight. Is it okay? It's flight or, it, or flight. It's flight or fight. It really is. Okay? Because it is. Um, There is success with the chariot card. That is, that's over here by itself. It's that success. That's headed towards success. Yeah, you deal with the opposition. You deal with the challenges. You face the opposition, and you steal, steer yourself out of that troubled situation right towards success. But that takes mental determination and discipline and willpower and mastering your emotions and faith. Faith. And the fool card is about faith as well. If you have faith, you will succeed. But if you're in an unrequited love situation just to have something to hold on to and you're letting fear get in the way, then you're not going to be successful. You have to be willing to evolve. You have to be willing to change. You have to be willing to be open, to your, open and honest with yourself about your happiness, about the person that you're with. Otherwise, I mean, if you're deceiving and lying about the whole situation, then you're telling the universe and the higher power and God and karma that you're not a good person, that you're not a just person, and they're not going to reward you for that. You have to be honest. You have to be open. You have to do the right thing. If you continue to lie to yourself, then you're not going to get any reward because you're lying. There's a need to be honest and upfront. That's your Knight of Swords. 
Be honest with yourself. If something is weighing you down, you have to fight for what you deserve. You have to let it go. That's the hangman. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. So that you can have the success that you're praying for and asking for. There is wish fulfillment here. We did have that star card. But that comes after the tower. It does because it comes after the tower and the tarot. You have to, you have to remove yourself from the false foundation first. And then unexpected help arrives. And maybe unexpected help has already arrived. We have somebody here that's been ignoring it. And I do see the ignoring it because of their fear. Their fear of change. Their fear of the unknown. So continue to struggle. Act now. Think later. Step into new territory. How many times I got to say this shit? So anyway, the fool is about taking a risk and having faith. It's time for a new beginning. That is the beginning of a whole new journey. That's leaving the past behind, leaving it all behind. Okay, it's taking the experience that you learned with you on to the next chapter of your life and starting over starting over. So I think that we have somebody here that's going to be starting over and, and they may be, you know, traveling to a new destination or a change in living situation. I do see a separation here. I do. I do. The two cups is and the page of cups is separation. It is unrequited love. It's a rejection. It's, you know, somebody is going to be uh, caught off guard by Well, they're definitely going to be caught off guard by some sort of separation. However that resonates with you. Good luck.